These gallant young men and women have worked hard to complete their programs in 12 months and have met the criteria to transition into six months further work experience learning. Architects, fabricators, industrialists, creative artists, and real nation builders to drive the country's industrialization agenda. I have always been a fairly confident girl, but DTI has turned that confidence into good leadership. Recently, my team and I, during the DTI Innovation Program, designed and built an adjustable barbecue, which allowed our team to win $7,000 and a trip to the UA. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Lillian. To all of you, my returning viewers, hey, thank you, I appreciate you. So you guys, a lot have been going on in the world. I'm seeing news here and there, I'm seeing videos here. Oh, the Canadian government asking international students to go back to their countries after studies and all of these, you you know these things that breaks people's spirit and soul and heart i mean after investing so much resources into educating yourself abroad to be able to acquire their education and be able to get a job after that for them to say okay oh you can acquire our education but after that go back to your country really and this is what really bettered this particular school because i wanted to change my content you know lately i've been thinking of you know changing going into something else but then from time to time i'll be putting these institutions out here because i believe that a lot of people may need it rather than spend so much money to go study abroad and still be asked to return home to your country you can study in ghana you can do this in ghana it will save you the stress you save a lot of money maybe the money you are supposed to use for the visa and everything to go to canada you, you know to go to these western countries to study you can keep it maybe after school you use it for a business or something i don't even know what to say but africans we are going through a lot both external and insana so if you want to school in ghana i'm doing this video for those that are interested so so someone told me about the school in ghana and ask her take a look and talk about it in case someone out there sees it and won't be interested in so i said okay let's talk about it and the name is design and technology institute right here in accra located in east Legon. so let's go take a look at them together and I will see you later. There is a storm coming. And it's going to change this continent forever. For years, we've been told we lack innovation and wit and talent. But our story of growth and genius has always existed, but rarely ever told. Now is the time to unveil a new frontier of transformation, the harnessing of hidden talent and the untapped potential of the young Africans to tell our stories. No matter what challenges are thrown at us, we will tell our stories. Like the sun hiding behind the horizon of hope is a revolutionary institution leading and training builders of anything to get up, to stand up and to grow wings of change. The welding and fabrication program in DTI, we run a competency-based program accredited by the CTVET in Ghana. Competency-based training means that at the end of the day, all the learners must build the required competencies before they graduate. One interesting thing is that the facilitators of the program are industry people. So in my department, we have two certified welding inspectors who have rich experience from the oil and gas and mining industry as lead facilitators of the program. So the curriculum and the kind of facilitators we are using in the department makes the program a unique one. Here at DTI, our design innovation program has been structured to help learners acquire practical skills aside the theory. So we do 85% of practicals. We take them through courses like photography, animation, graphic designing, sound design. 
the entrepreneurship department was set up to develop the entrepreneurial skills of students at DTI and to ensure that when they are done with DTI, they're able to come up with viable business ideas, business plans that can generate them income in their localities. DTI alumni stand out professionally, equipped with the skills and mindset to excel. They are proof of our commitment to educational excellence and impactful careers. One of the most important partnerships for us is how do we crowd in the brightest minds, the most technical talents, people who can build, can design, can innovate um, right here in Ghana. And sourcing those people, finding those people was extremely difficult until we started our partnership with DTI. One of the things that stands out for me around the type of students that come from DTI is their ability to commit to something. And this really resonates in all the students that we've had. They come to work on time, they come to work polished, they ask questions, they're curious, and which means that they're able to learn very quickly in very dynamic environments, especially startup environments like ours. One of the things that employers always complain about is the fact that when people come to them who are finished school, they don't have soft skills. And I think that that's one of the things that our extracurricular and the co-curricular activities have really, really improved in our students. Exactly the things that the employers want to see. In every corner of Ghana, DTI alumni are making waves in diverse industries, their success stories echoing across the nation. But behind every achievement lies a journey nurtured by a unique community, a community that thrives on collaboration, innovation, and unwavering support. From the lively dorms where friendships blossom to the beautiful campus scenery that sparks creativity, at DTI, we offer more than just the education. No doubt that schooling in Ghana can be a bit pricey for international students, but trust me, it's worth it because it is a complete package. These gallant young men and women have worked hard to complete their programs in 12 months and have met the criteria to transition into six months further work experience learning. Architects, fabricators, industrialists, creative artists, and real nation builders to drive the country's industrialization agenda. These are the real sectors that have potential to create jobs and promote economic growth. What I thought was hard, what I thought was a background that didn't matter, found out that one, it was time management skills I was learning. Now, today, I look back at those skills and I say those skills were actually human skills. Those skills were actually soft skills. Go and change what the world wants to see from DTI because you as ambassadors will bring the world to DTI. You get all that you pay for, you get value for your money. I was trying to see if I could find videos of the past students of this school. If I can find, cool. If I cannot. <laughs> I told myself I could do it. Although so many people around me said I couldn't, I don't blame them because metal fabrication is not something you often see girls do in Ghana. But I had two strong motivations. My son, whom I promised to do everything I possibly can to give him a better life. Secondly, to prove to the world that as a single mother, there are so many things I can achieve if I work hard. I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I guess my biggest inspiration was watching my mother work with her hands to take care of a family of six after my father passed away at the age of four. DTI has really taught me how to run a business. 
Through the numerous workshops and field trips with successful entrepreneurs, I have picked up the skills I would need to run my own business. One typical example was how we were taught to find opportunities in most daring situations. No, I haven't graduated yet. I have already received a job offer from Salt Lake Motor Company at North Industrial Area. And I feel like I'm many steps closer to achieving my goals. I was coming here thinking I was only going to learn how to weld and fabricate. However, I had no idea my attitude, character and mindset was going to be transformed just in the span of a year. I have always been a fairly confident girl, but DTI has turned that confidence into good leadership. Recently, my team and I, during the DTI Innovation Program, designed and built an adjustable barbecue, which allowed our team to win $7,000 and a trip to the U.S. I have had a lot of help on my journey through life, most notably comfort, Madam Issa Zinabu, Mr. Peter and Madam Patient. And now that I'm ready to start mine, I would want to do same for others, especially back in my hometown, Bogatanga, where a lot of girls struggle with teenage pregnancy, unemployment, and an overall disinterest in education. I would want to do something about that. The DTI student journey ends at the end of 12 months. When our learners enter the world of work, having spent 12 months undergoing very intensive training in both hard and soft skills. But this is where the journey really gets exciting because as they enter the world of work, this is not goodbye from us, but this is hello world. And this is where we look at them and you see that they're really ready to face the challenges of the demands of industry. And this is where the journey gets very exciting because feedback that we get from employers is the quality of students that are being placed in these institutions. G to the A to the double B Y. There are many times you feel not right, tossing and turning through the night as that day goes by. You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light all the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke dada o de I hope that you see this school and you consider it if you want to school in Ghana. As an international student, you do not have to bother about anything. This is just like schooling in your own country, just a little bit away from home. You get to get the feel of home and your cultural food will not be a problem. Like I stated earlier, I was not paid to do this. This is me putting this information out there because... Of course, why not? I had wanted to do something else. But okay, let's quickly do the school before I move to other things. I just want to believe that this video is helpful and that I will see you again in my next one. Ciao!